Hi, what's up, y'all? What's popping this dick? Boss reacts to this vid. This is Bronx drill lyrics that actually happen. We'll let the fire signs go on. Um, I live in downtown LA, and we have like a major fire station here, so the sirens just ring throughout uh, downtown. So we, we hear them constantly. So they're not police sirens. <laughs> they're, they're fire sirens. People are saving lives. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna see uh, what, what drill lyrics are are on this video. Let's watch. What up, gang? Back with the real. You know what's the deal? Yeah. First off, rest in peace to all those that are mentioned in these lyrics in this video oh, that have yeah. lost their lives. Mm -hmm. This is a video that you don't want to miss. Creating this video, I realized how grimy the Bronx really is. These dudes are rapping yeah. about hits like it's nothing. And this video also is going to contain rare footage, so brace yourself for it. Oh. Other channels simply state the lyrics, but I've oh. got news stories to give you the depth and detail. Let's oh, okay. chop it up and break it down. Lit. The first drill lyrics that actually happened references an incident mentioned in the video I did on Kate Flock the Driller. Check it out if you haven't already. I'll link it in the description. In the song Flocker for Bro with Shaw Watts and Swervo Flocker, Shaw Watts drops the bars. Bro got clapped, he got put on a t-shirt. Bro got sent to the moon like DreamWorks. Kate Flock also referenced his shots behind Rod in an earlier attempt on his life on Let it clap. Ask him how much I threw back. I'm a demon. I like to react. Spent through the Bronx trying to catch us a pack. Two shots gonna make him collapse. Ramon Gil Madrano, also known as Rod G's, is the YG's affiliate that got dealt a gruesome fate. Just a week before he got hit up, he posted a video online directed at Southside Savage, K Flock, telling him to pop out because he's outside and ready for smoke. Unfortunately, he did get smoked while sitting in the back of an Uber while going to a recording studio. Mm. Two dudes pulled up on a scooter and sent shots through his head and chest. Around 11.30 mm. Sunday oh, night good. by the corner of East 178th Street and Webster Avenue in the Bronx, police say two men- Niggas doing drive-bys on scooters? That's crazy. I ain't never heard that before. And pulled scooters up next to a cab Madrano was taking to a recording studio. They then shot him in his head and chest. Next, we got lyrics R. from K. Flock himself in his song War with KD. Where he says you ran on Wu Lottie, get back, and then mentions the Wu Lottie Merkin again on his song What Y'all Wanna Do with C Blue. He ran and got tripped out his shoes, spent through the hill like what y'all wanna do. This incident was one that twisted your stomach. Wu Lottie was another member of the YG's close to K Flock's cousin and op D Thang. Wu Lottie was caught lacking and poked up. Allegedly, the word is that Wu Lottie and some other YG's were in Harlem chilling when a whip pulled up and their ops hopped out armed with knives. Wu Lottie and his homies dipped, but Lottie tripped and fell, and they did a number on bro. Lottie was poked up so many times, his chances of making it was slim. I found the video of when they ran down on Lottie, and he fell, and they began putting in that work. Stop running, Wu! Stop running, Wu Lottie! I don't even want to imagine his thoughts as he felt those stabs and seen dudes knifing him up. That's that's not cool. Listen, it is not. We violating in the streets. We been in this for Wu Lottie. The next op that I catch gonna get a Wu shot me. The next incident was mentioned in the bars. Op see me, they run. Ty Benji got smoked with a gun on the track. Gla gla by Shy G and Ty Breach. Op see me, they run. Ty Benji got smoked with. According to the police reports, Ty Benji was in the back seat of a livery cab near the corner of East 163rd Street and Tenton Avenue in Foxhurst, just two blocks from where he lived. When a white BMW rolled up and started yelling his direction, someone in the BMW pulled out a blicky and opened fire allegedly, headshot in Ty before skirting off. Ty would be rushed to the Lincoln Medical Center where he succumbed to his wounds four days later. The streets don't give a damn about gender. The next one is just sad because it seems she got dead dirty by her own friends. The receiver of this alleged betrayal is Delilah. In a video. In the track D and D by Sha E K featuring Blockwork, Sha E K came through sliding on the beat with the lyrics. There's a whole lot of ops I can smoke, but I'd rather just smoke on Delilah. Yeah. Just the fact that she's a female would just hit different. The lyrics tell the tale of her end. 
in what authorities call a dingy abandoned apartment just 10 blocks from where she grew up. She was critically injured with a headshot in an empty third floor apartment on Hull Ave in Norwood and passed away at Jacoby Medical Center. Cries from a family and a community in pain rang through this block after the 20 year old Delilah Vasquez who was found shot in the head in this apartment building. Now candles and pictures lay here in honor of her memory. Police reports state that several people all believed to be black Blood members left the building after the incident and a gun was tossed out the window. Reports also state that the apartment was a well-known gang hideout and Delilah was an associate of theirs. According to authorities, turns out Delilah was living that lifestyle. She was arrested six times at her most recent being on December 2nd, 2020, when cops charged her with aggravated harassment for threatening a woman and her children. What's more sad about well, her case like is that, that her mother believes it was her Sorry. own friends that murdered her. I feel like I can have a heart attack and die. Like, this is... Crazy. It's unfair that your old friends kill you. But truth is, these incidents and all of these videos I put together show more and more there isn't any friends in this lifestyle. It's a cold world. You think that the events that these lyrics are based on couldn't get any more chilling, but these last two are gonna top the list. In his track Warzone, Yes G's rap the lyrics, Nova got stomped like Smelly got poked. Then again mentions Smelly stabbing in his tracks Dead Lokes. With the lyrics, I know an op that got poked in his belly. I'm talking about Smelly. I know an op that got poked in his belly. Why not sip it? I'm talking about Smelly. Side note. Yes, G's was close homies with the fellow slain YG's member, Raji's. The first person mentioned, Noah, got his life taken away in one of the worst ways. He was literally stomped out until he lost his life. In April 2012, Moses, Noah, Ball, and Laura was brutally beaten. As the story goes, a group of YG's from Morris Ave, located across the street from Cortland and Patterson houses got into it about who was the most active in the streets one thing led to the next and the end result was an argument which triggered their next decision to go to Cortland Ave and see who puts in the most work yeah you heard me right this generation of hood dudes don't know how to act in these streets man it's like they're playing a real life game of GTA but they decided what they decided and went out in the middle of the night for the smoke unfortunately the target they found was a small framed 16 year old Noah Baller kicking it outside alone Sensing the danger, he tried to dip, but he was hunted down. And by the police reports, they say it was 16 to 20 people that pummeled him until he was lifeless. Damn. The official cause of his demise was listed as injuries to the head and neck. Mm -hmm. One girl that was with him before everything played out said when she got the call and arrived at the scene, Noah was laying on the floor with his head busted. I could only hope he was unconscious early in the beatdown and didn't have to experience all the pain. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Okay. And here we are. Down to the last name mentioned by Yes G's, Smelly. Doesn't look like he had any gang ties, does it? Well, ops like Yes G's might think a bit differently. Reports paint a sad end for the 17-year-old high school graduate that was said to be planning on attending Boricua College in two weeks to pursue becoming a police officer. Boricua. Ironic, isn't it? Well, she got the chance to pursue his dream down the right path. As Merlin Terribio, also known as Smelly, was knifed until lifeless in front of his building on East 182nd Street near Valentine Ave in Fordham Heights in 2016. Smelly and a friend allegedly that, linked up with a guy named someone? Sanchez oh. to sell him a mini dirt bike. Smelly was the plug for the Lolo. The bike, worth around $300 was sold to Sanchez for $80. But things went downhill after the successful sale. Reports state that minutes after, Smelly doubled back with his homies and demanded the motorcycle returned. Sanchez wasn't gonna just be bullied and stood his ground. Smelly began throwing hands, but Sanchez, probably realizing he was outnumbered, pulled a knife and plunged it into Smelly's chest. He was rushed to St. Barnabas Hospital, but chances to save his life failed. Sanchez was apprehended for the hit. Just like that, both of their lives was messed up. That's the streets for you these days. It takes and takes and takes and only gives blood and pain. Smelly was a close homie to Bronx rapper Lil TJ. And ever since his passing, his music is filled with references to his slain homie. Even releasing a tribute song about the hole in his heart that is left behind. It's sad that everyone pointed out in these lyrics are young and haven't even lived life yet. All influenced in the same toxic hood environment that continues to cause bloodshed. Rest in peace to all of them, man. If you like me to do a part two to this video. This is so unfortunate. I've never heard of any of these people though. 
at all. Except Delilah, because like I said, that was in the video I reacted to. I don't remember what the video was called. But uh, yeah, I remember they referenced that and I was like, damn, that's messed up. Um, but yeah, it's really sad to see, you know, them lose their lives over this gang activity. This is so stupid. It's so dumb. The, the streets, they don't care about you. You think you belong to something and you got to ride for your, your gang or whatever the case. Nobody cares about you. This is it's just such a fake sense of like brotherhood and community. But a lot of people do gravitate towards it because they don't have that community or they don't feel like they have that that love at home so they look for it in the streets like it's really sad so that's why the streets will pull in a lot of people who are young because they're they're really naive and it's easy to manipulate them and control them and then have them be in these gangs you know it, it's unfortunate i have a lot of people in my family who have fell victim to the same shit and it's just it's really sad y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see y'all in the next one bye